Hello party farmer. Welcome back to Wisney's. Now before we get the engine started, get harvesting, get mowing, let's first hop over to the wheel and see what we'll spin for today. Okay, last time we enabled hard mode. Let's see what the wheel has in store for us. And we have no more field stone. Okay. Well, not that we have any field stone to begin with. So that's a great one. But let's spin again, since we have to remove our rule. We'll spin once more. Are you, are you serious? Are you... This is back-to-back -back rule removing? Okay. Okay, now. I know we've done crazy in the past. But let's do crazy in the present as well. and spin for a third time. Because we can't just remove two rules. Because what is worse than removing two rules is removing three rules. Okay. We will keep selling at the worst price, but we will remove hard mode and remove field stones. And with that said, let's hop over in the episode and see what we can do. Okay. We have to disable hard mode. So we'll go back on easy. And we have to disable field stone. So that's no oh, that's now off. This is on easy. Everything else is still enabled. Okay. Let's get this bad boy parked. And now I think we have something uh in the way that is a tree for some reason <laughs> but we do have something else exciting planned and that is uh it has nothing to do with parking this or doing rear parking with this lime spreader and it has more to do with the new Combine, because, let's have a little look, field 204 is now ready to harvest, well, that is perfect, well, that is really good, so we can actually see how this new, <laughs> uh, might I say, funny looking combine performs, <laughs> it, looks, uh, it looks a bit absurd with the huge heather, to the relatively small combine. But I mean, hey, if it works, it works. And that is something that we're going to find out uh, right away. So let's hopefully get this field harvested in like half the amount of time that it took before. But since this machine is really loud and I can't zoom out any further, I'll do this in a quick time and see you when it's done.
virtue look at that. There is something before anything, let's do something first, and that is lower the volume. Because oh my days, that was loud. Now I believe there is a volume. Yeah, master volume goes down. Vehicle that goes down. At least the vehicle, because uh, the combine is loud. Very loud. But can can we appreciate the amount of crop that we got out of this? That is a full trailer load. That is 18,500 liters. And there is still 3.7 thousand liters left in the combine. Would you look at that? That is just amazing. Can I, leave a like for the amount of sorghum that we got out of this field. Even though I was a bit afraid with the colors like there's a little bit of orange there's a lighter tint of green but even with that the ph is still fine the nitrogen is also great so yeah all in all i uh, i would say this is a win this is a uh, a big win but let's get the combine fully unloaded which means that we need the small trailer here as well and let's fill that up with everything that's left in the combine. Okay, 22,000 liters. Let's see, where can we sell that? That is sorghum. Sorghum is a very good, at a very good price. And the purchase agropon is the lowest price point. Now we're in June, so the price is not very good, but that's fine. I think that's fine. So let's get over to the purchase agroplan and sell all this crop. Now, let's see, 22k. I would say this would leave us at this place after selling with about 25k from this uh, from this yield. But pause the video, leave a comment. What do you think this will be worth? Total harvest price. Plus the environmental bonus. That's not fully in the sell point, but we can sell this all as one, giving us a bit more bonus. Uh, it's about 25k. It's almost 25k. I like it. That is very good. That is very good. It gives us a little bit of wiggle room, money-wise. Because this tractor is very beaten up. So I would like to see what the repair cost is gonna be for this bad boy. Okay, here we are. I'm wondering how much the repair pump cost is gonna be for this tractor. I hope it is not all too much. A 13k! That is honestly not all too bad. I think it is worth spending that. Since the condition is really bad and that really influences the amount of horsepower you can use. And I mean, since we can repair, I think it is better to repair. Because the tractor will just perform that much better. Okay. Okay. Because we are going right into the next job, which is the baling, or, well, mowing first and then baling of field 143. At which point we can hopefully return the least machines. At least the least baler. Because I'd like to buy my own baler. If at all possible. But that's a bit hopeful. That's a bit hopeful. Because that all really depends on the other crop fields. And if they are ready before we need the baler again. <laughs> but yeah, let's head over to the mowing and do that in a little mini compilation.
again, seven bales out of this field, which is good. Seven seven bales is uh, is more than enough. The only issue now huh, is that the baler still is pretty full, and I actually don't want to keep renting that baler, if that makes sense. It is uh, it is a very expensive piece of machinery to lease at least and I rather I rather just you know have one <laughs> so it might be a bit of a, a bit of a uh, an unfortunate loss for all the grass that's in there but I think it's time that we uh, revoke the lease that we have on this baler that is, if those two fields back there, fields uh, 47 and 48, are done in time. Uh, or har harvestable in time? Is that a word? I feel like that's a word. But yeah, we'll leave these bills here to ferment. And now we can actually see that we have about 40,000 liters of grass and that slowly over time will turn into silage so we'll leave this trailer back in the yard or next to the yard because this has a very big turning circle is that I feel like that is a term that you can use to describe how far you have to turn with a uh, piece of equipment. <laughs> but we do have something else to do. And that is we are having a spraying party. Because would you look at those fields. Four fields that are green. That are not supposed to be green. And that's going to cost us a lot of herbicide as well. Uh, we have to park this in front, not on the side of the sprayer. Now this is where spot spraying would be uh, very good to have. But unfortunately we do not have spot spraying yet. And we'll drop you off right there. And fill this up with herbicide. And we'll do a little bit of spraying. Okay, remember recently that we tried spraying this field, but it wouldn't let us? Well, as it turned out, we do need to update the soil information every now and again. That is listed right over here. Otherwise, you don't really know what the values are in your fields. Hence, the sprayer will not spray. Because it would believe that there's would be enough nitrogen in the ground but hey that is something that we learn along the way <laughs> i have purchased the soil information for other fields as well and hopefully that will prevent us from having these issues again but then again you know what i say never say never but now we at least know about it and we can deal with it 
Now, although weed spraying went marvelously, every weed has been eradicated. So that should improve the yield by quite a bit. And there's one more thing that we can do today, or that we should do today, and that is prepping all of this land to be combined. Now, what does that... <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, that mainly means getting rid of all the trees that are in these little plots of land between the fields. Since we own that as well, and the trees are kind of in the way when we are trying to make the big fields. We can get rid of the trees right now to make sure that that doesn't happen. As well as re-drilling uh, this field over here, we'll put some canola in. I think canola in general is just a very nice crop to have. And especially with the huge amount of yield that we're getting out of the field. I think canola would do it uh, would do it justice, if that makes sense. But yeah, let's get to planting the field, and afterwards we can remove a couple of the trees. And that is this whole field ready for the next harvest. Perfect. And this means that we can start on the uh, the little deforestation that we have planned. After we put this roller back where we found it, which I mean, we do have a lot of more a lot more space now in this little uh, in this little shed. Now that we don't have the combine in here anymore. 
But that does mean that we do need another shed that is on the outside. And we also need to uh, to steer correctly. One like is one prayer for the steering. Hopefully we can get that sorted before Christmas. There we go. Okay. Well, let's get over here. We do still need to buy a chainsaw, I suppose. And we definitely have to buy a chainsaw, because I haven't bought it yet. And then we kind of have to see which trees we can cut and which we can't. So, let's see. We have to go over here. Chainsaws. Buy a chainsaw for 1,000. Here we are. Now, can we cut this? It appears we can. It's always a bit of a... You're not allowed to cut this tree. Damn. Are we allowed to cut this tree? Because this is... Both of the fields on the sides are our land. So that would mean that we would be able to cut this. There we go. Right in the field. Great. <laughs> Luckily the chainsaw doesn't destroy the crops. That is a... <laughs> that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Let's see. Let's put this tree over here. That is a... It is a small one. But we need to get rid of all of the trees in here. And possibly, possibly, as low as possible. Because we also need to deal with the tree... Oh, we also need to deal with the tree stumps. <laughs> I mean, that is fine. That is a worry for uh, future, future us. It, uh, it feels like it's the adult thing to do. You, uh, you have a problem... And it can wait till later. Put it off till later. And then when it finally is later, uh, and then you cry. And you ask yourself, why didn't I do this earlier? <laughs> now, why has nobody written a book about that? Because that definitely is a book that I'd buy. Now... I think we do have to get rid of these branches now, don't we? Oh yeah, this is birch. And that takes a long ass time as well. Really, we can't just... Can't do this, right? And then it becomes its own little... Oh god, it becomes its own little... What you look at that? 16 kilos. Okay, well, <laughs> we uh, literally have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Which is fine. I mean, we're here for it, we're here for it. Let's see. So this we will also put to the side. Make sure that everything is cut off. Let's see, then we have this bigger tree trunk. And there we go. And then we have the top. Then we have the tree top. Oh my, what are we gonna do with this? I mean, it should take it like that. That should be fine. Then again, the emphasis here is on the should. Now, is there... There is another piece in here. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh man, the the sawmill will see us coming with these with these little pieces. Like, uh, what uh, what do you, what can you give us for this one point eight meter stick of sixteen kilos? Huh? I want a good deal. <laughs> Imagine. Anyway, let's cut all the trees first, if possible. 
and then we'll get the bills of the trailer that we have and get all of these three pieces on <gasps> and then sell them all at the uh, of course at the worst price that is a uh, that's a non-negotiable but yeah i think that is that are all the trees that we can currently cut because we can't cut that one and that one is out of the way enough for where we don't really bother with it. And let's see, this should be able to go on the trailer as well. <laughs> okay, some of the trees are really weird looking. Let's see. This is out of the way enough, I feel. Or is it just... Because we gotta connect this strip of land to that. I mean, we might as well cut it in the... Cut it. It is kind of in the way. Kind of. And this way we ensure that we don't really uh, have to bother with very narrow tree lines. Okay, so we hear the falling sound, but we don't really hear the... Okay, there we go. Well... <laughs> interesting, interesting. There we go. I think we should cut this one in, in half. Right about there. Get some, well, sort of equal length. Close enough. Let's load everything up. And here we are. At the carpentry. Where hopefully we can just, you know, pull up. <laughs> and kind of maneuver this trailer into the cell point. Hopefully. Like so and then probably here we can say sell wood okay that is most of it now i think these other two were a little bit out of the cell point so let's try that again and Sell the last two. Okay, that's a little bit of money. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. But, I mean, we weren't going to use the trees anyway. So that's a, that's a good thing. Maybe eventually we uh, could look into buying, like, this plot of land. And the carpentry itself. So we can have all this wood be transformed in either planks or furniture or something along those lines. But with that done, we almost have all the land prepped. We still need to do something about the, the, the tree stumps, which is easy enough, which is easy enough. But yeah, with that, that's going to be it from me for today. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode and or the series so far, um, a like and a subscribe would be highly appreciated. It helps me out a ton. But for now, there is me nothing than to wish you a great day and hopefully catch you in the next video real soon.